Hi everyone, welcome. My name is Claude Zin and I'll guide you through class. Time for yoga. <laughs> you can start on your mat and you might need a block. So if you have that, you can bring that with you. And we'll set up in a wide knee child's pose to start. Okay, so knees wide apart, bring your big toes together and fold forward over your legs. You can stack your hands, you can use your block or your forehead might come right to the ground. In the pose of the child here, let go of the weight of your body. And feel the breath move all the way into the belly and even into the pelvic floor. to breathe in and out through your nose. So it might be morning and you're starting your day or maybe you've had a really busy day already. Take a moment to land. And sometimes the body is in the shape, but the mind is still racing. So use your breath to fully arrive on your mat. Respect your body and where you're at today during class, so modify anything you need to and just keep a sense of play as you move. Une dernière grande respiration par le nez. Okay, reach the arms out in front of you and press into your hands, come up to a tabletop position. Okay, in tabletop, bring your knees uh, closer together so they touch together and your ankles together and then sit back towards your heels. Lift your arms up over your head. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Press your palms into one another. Just that one more time. Inhale, circle up, long, long arms. Hands to the heart. Press the palms together. Elbows wide. Last time, deep breath in. Look up. Full breath out. Okay, reach the arms behind you, interlace your fingers behind you, and you can keep your arms slightly bent, especially if you're really mobile in your shoulders, you can contain slightly here. Inhale, lift your chest, and exhale, fold towards your legs so your belly comes to your thighs. Okay, now here you can let your head come down and your hands move away from your hips slightly. Now let's do a movement with breath. So with your inhale, lift the head, scoop the chest forward. Exhale to fold. So moving through the upper back, inhale, chest up. Exhale, fold. Again, keep the belly close to the thighs. Exhale, fold down. Maybe the heels of the hands together. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Last time, breathe in. Breathe out, head down, relax your arms down, and bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Press up, walk forward with your hands, tabletop. And from here, pivot your right shin to the right and reach your left leg back, then your left arm up. Okay, and just to help you out, I'll change uh, my position, but you can stay where you're at. Okay, so from here, left arm is up. And as you exhale, press the left hand towards the leg, lift up. Inhale, reach away. Exhale, press together. Again, inhale. Exhale. I will add a movement, inhale, reach away, and bring the right knee to the left knees together. Come back down, press, leg in hand, reach away, knee up. 
Again, press, breathe out. Inhale, reach away, lift. Exhale, press. Inhale, reach away, lift. One more time, press. Reach away and lift. And bring the knee down. Inhale, circle back with your arm. Exhale, reach forward with the arm. So you inhale to open the chest. Exhale to complete the circle. One more time, breathe in. Exhale, circle. Keep the spine here, the side of the left waist rounded and bring the knees together again and fold over your legs, head down to the ground. Bring your hands under your shoulders, push into the hands, walk forward with your hands, set up the other side. So left shin pivots, stretch back with the right leg, reach your right arm up. Okay, so lift the back leg, press the hand into it, and reach back and away. So breathe out to press. Inhale, come back. Exhale, press. Inhale, return. Keep with that. Exhale, press. Inhale, reach and lift the bottom knee, knees together. Press. And away, lift the bottom knee. Exhale. Inhale. Two more. Breathe out. Inhale. Last time. Breathe out. Inhale, lower the bottom. Inhale, roll your chest open. Exhale, continue to circle with your arm. Inhale, open. Exhale, reach. Two more times. Use the chest to move into it. Roll open. And reach away. And keep the spine rounded. Bring the knees together and reach, 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 reach forward with your hands to bring your forehead down onto the floor. Take a breath right here. And bring the hands into the shoulders, under the shoulders, and come up. Interlace your fingers and press the palms up towards the ceiling. Okay, bend your arms so you can Relax the elbows, and that allows you to then create space to drop your shoulders. We're going to go in circles with, imagine the palms of your hands drawing circles on the ceiling above you. And we're going to start by moving the hands to the right and a little bit to the back, like you're drawing a circle over the crown of your head. The okay, arms are slightly bent. And start the movement just by moving your arms. Moving the arms and moving the shoulders into the shoulder sockets. And from this movement, then start to engage the rib cage into it. So side, front rounded, side, back chest open, side, rounded, side, Back, keep going with that same direction. Rounded, side, back, side, rounded, side, back. And now the whole spine, so tuck your tailbone under, think of mad cat, side, back, arch your back, side, rounded, side, back, two more, round, Whole spine rounding. And now last time round and take it into mad cat. Hands under the shoulders. Round your whole back. Inhale to arch. Exhale to round. Come back to a neutral spine. Tuck your toes and pick up your knees one inch away from the floor. And take a breath here. Press the floor away with your hands. And then return your knees down. 
Untuck your toes, sit to the heels, interlace your fingers, and press up with your hands. Lengthen first, and then bend at the elbows. So now we'll go the other direction, to the left, to the back, to the right, and round. Left, back, round. And <laughs> at first, just the arms into the shoulder sockets. And then add the thoracic spine into it, round. And then add your whole spine into it, even the pelvis. Tuck under, fold forward, tuck under, lift. Whole spine articulating. Two more full circles. Breathe out, inhale, exhale. Okay, inhale to arch. Exhale to round, keep the rounding to cat pose. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Just one more time. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Tuck your toes, lift your knees, and walk your knees back so you're in plank, but on your forearms. You can make a fist and squeeze your legs together and press down through the elbows. Three, belly to spine. Two, and one, lower your knees, separate them a little bit, hands shoulder distance apart, take an inhale, and down dog we go, lift your hips up. And stay right here in down dog. And take five more deep breaths in and out through the nose. Lengthen your arms. Peek -a -boo. <laughs> Lift your sitting bones way up high. You lift your heels, bend your legs, and walk your feet towards your hands. In a forward fold here, inhale long back. Fold over your legs, exhale. You simply bend your left leg. You could do this with your hands on a block as high as you need it. Okay? Bend your left leg slightly. Shift the weight so that you lift your right sitting bone up towards the ceiling. Okay, I'll show this sideways. The left leg is slightly bent. And you lift the right sitting bone up. Okay. Breathe into the back of the right leg to the outer leg slightly. And return back to center, so both legs long. Feel free to use your prop. And change, so bend the right leg now, lift the left sitting bone away from your left heel. A bit of shift in the pelvis. Lots of length. One more breath. In the center, lengthen both legs. Use your fingertips. Breathe out, fold over the legs, release the head down. Heel toe your feet together now so your big toes touch, your heels are slightly apart. Bend the legs, drop the hips, Utkatasana. You can zip the hands together, sit way back with your hips. Inhale, stand all the way up. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Okay. Inhale, circle your arms over your head. Exhale, firm legs, dive up and over. Halfway lift on your inhale. And bend the legs, drop the hips, reach up with your arms. And take an inhale. Exhale, prayer twist, left elbow outside your right thigh. You can use your right fist into your left hand to roll your chest open. But feel the line from your left hip to your left armpit. Try to lengthen there on the side underneath. 
Okay, shift the weight in the right foot, pick up the left foot, slowly step back. So you land in the lunge with your twist. Relift your chest. Hug your left hip in towards the midline. Bring your hands to center and then hands down. Keep the right hand where it is. Pivot your left heel down. Extended side angle. Reach forward with the left arm and then roll your chest open. Back leg long, front leg bent. Anchor the feet. Inhale, come up, warrior two. The front leg stays bent. Reach away with your hands. Okay, stay in warrior two. Flex your hands and press the front away, the back away. So press away through the heels of the hands. Long, long arms. And then relax the hands down. Stay low in the legs. Reverse the warrior. Reach up and back with the right arm. One breath here. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, hands to the ground. Lift your hips. Downward facing dog. Heels high. Bend the legs. Walk. Hop forward. Long spine. And fold. Sit down low. Inhale. Utkatasana. Reach up. And exhale. Slide the right elbow outside your left leg. Right into the other side. A okay, option to punch the left hand into the right and roll the chest open. Right hip back. Look down. You can connect your hands to prayer again. Right heel up. Step back with the right leg. So stay in the twist. Move into the lunge shape with your leg. Left hip back and down, last breath. Warrior two. Um, extended side angle, hands down. Left hand stays, pivot the right heel down and reach away with the right arm. So a long diagonal line that travels through the back leg all the way out through the fingers. Left hip rolls under. In your bottom arm, right from the top of the arm, rotate out. Firm the legs, come up, warrior two. Left leg stays bent. And a variation here, flex the hands and press the imaginary walls away with the heels of the hands. Dig your front heel down. Reverse the warrior left palm up. Reach up and back. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, hands down. Back heel lifts. Down dog. Both feet go back. Relax your head. If you lost track of your breath, connect to it again. Lift your heels, bend your knees, and walk your feet to your hands. Forward fold here with your peace fingers. You can wrap your big toes. You can do the variation where you bring your hands under your heels and you fold over your legs. You could also go to a prop, hands up higher on a support. Okay, you choose. Inhale, come halfway up. Exhale, hands on your hips, and inhale all the way up with a long spine. Inhale, circle the arms over the head. 
and eagle, bring the left arm under the right, sit into the legs, take the left leg on top. Simply step the left foot down, inhale, arms up. Change sides, so right arm under, right leg on top, hug into the midline. Right foot comes down, inhale, arms up. Exhale, dive up and over your legs. Okay, from here, you can stay facing this way or you can pivot sideways and <clears throat> heel toe your feet wider apart. So you're in a forward fold with wide legs now. Les mains en dessous des épaules pour y encore une fois utiliser votre bloc. So the higher the hands are, the easier it is to create a long spine. Option also could be to bend your legs. And from here, either you stay or you bring the right hand under your nose, lift your right hip up, and open your left arm. Breathe in. Lower the hand down, switch hands, left hand under the nose, left hip lifts, reach up with the right arm. Inhale, reach up through the arm. Exhale, hand back down. Okay. From here, firm up the legs, push into the feet. Halfway up, breathe in. Hands on the hips, exhale. Inhale, all the way back up. Heel toe your feet just a little bit closer together. And then turn out. Your feet turn out your legs, so you're like in a ballerina second position. You can stay sideways if you're steady on your mat. I'll just pivot so that you can see me. And from your second position, you lift the arms up, interlace your fingers, and press up with the hands. Okay, keep the press up with the hands, knit your low ribs down, and then bend your legs. Okay, lift your heels up. And then as you come up, lower your arms down. Okay, so interlace, press up, bend the legs, heels up. And heels down, come up, arms down. Press up, heels up, come up, arms down. One more time, press up, heels up. Come up, arms down. Last time, press up. And then stay here, lift your heels, release your arms down, bring your hands on your hips, and just tap your heels almost to the floor and back up. Almost to the floor and up. So we're trying to set the ankles under the knees. Up and four. Heels up three. Two, one, oh, an extra one. Last time, lift up. And then keep the heels lifted, slowly straighten your legs, and really slowly lower your heels down. Heel toe your feet in, and turn the toes out again. This time, come down into a squat. You bring your hands to your heart. Avec les coudes, on pousse dans l'intérieur des cuisses. Et on crée une contraction isométrique. Avec les jambes, on squeeze aussi les coudes. Collarbone broad. And some engagement through the low belly. Totally fine to hold this and stay right there. You want to play with crow, you go here. You can plant your hands. Keep the hugging to the midline action and zip the feet up. When you're done with crow, return to your squat, hands to your heart. Deep breath. 
Okay, use your hands on the ground. Lift your hips halfway up. If your feet are not underneath you, just set up so you really feel both feet grounded, stable, and then come halfway up. Okay, at the halfway here, bring your hands on your hips, and long spine, hands to heart. Push into the feet, into the heels. Drive your heels down, stand up at the top, squeeze your bum, arms up, and heel toe the feet closer underneath you. Breathe in, arms up. Dive up and over your legs. Halfway lift, breathe in. Simply fold over your legs, breathe out. From here, bend the legs and then cross the left leg behind the right. Try and cross the legs right from the top of the legs rather than just your ankles. Okay, so feet a little bit wider apart. Your hands on the mat or your hands on a block. And your front leg slightly bent. So you send the breath to the outside of the left leg, outside of the left hip. And then bow forward slightly. Flex your left foot, the leg behind you. So you're right on the baby toe blade of the back foot. I'll show it sideways just in case it helps. Okay, so front leg is bent, back leg is crossed behind you and long. Stay in the center or walk a little bit towards the right. Reach away through the left arm. From here, walk back to center and think of eagle arms. So cross the right arm under the left. Okay, and then stay here in the shape with your legs, but round, allow your head to come in and then lift um, your upper back away from your forearms. Unravel this. Okay, release the arms. Left foot steps back down. Right hand is on the ground under the shoulder. Lift the right leg up. So we change the standing foot. Free to use a prop under the right hand. Revolved Ardha Chandrasana. Lift your left arm up. Okay, back leg is long. Press away through it. Maybe roll your chest open. Left hip back. Last breath in. Hand comes back down and then bend the left leg slightly. So now the right leg is behind you. The right hip away from the flexion of your right foot in the leg behind you. Hands as high as you need them, okay? Stay to center or walk towards the left, reach away through the right hand. Come back to center. And now the left arm will go under the right. Stay in the same shape with your legs. Just bow down, drop the head, and then lift the upper back. Lift the space between the shoulder blades away from the forearms. Inhale. Exhale, let it go. Plant the hands, change the standing foot. So now right foot is down, left hand under the shoulder, revolved Ardha Chandrasana. Left hand as high as you need it. Drill the left hip back. Reach up with your right arm. Hug the right hip crease towards behind you. One more inhale. And then hands down. Left foot comes to the floor. And cross the right leg behind you again, as though you're setting up for it again. But then bend your front leg and sit into a twist. Okay. You might need to adjust your bum back to your mat. 
find yourself in a twist with the left leg up and over the right. Flex on your bottom foot. Bring the left hand behind you. Inhale, reach up with your right arm. And exhale, hook your elbow outside your leg. You stay right there. I'm just going to pivot so you can see. Right elbow outside the leg. Use the left hand behind you to lengthen your back. Exhale into the twist. You might need to lengthen your bottom leg forward. That can work too. Or to lean back so that you can lengthen your spine more. Okay. One more breath out. And then adjust your bottom leg. Heel toe the leg to the side more. So now you can stack your shins into more of a cow face shape. Okay. From here, use your right elbow again, right elbow outside the left leg, and reach up with your back arm. Okay. Stay there. I'll pivot to show. So you hinge forward from cow face. You hinge forward, spine is still long, just elbow to the outer leg, and then lift up with your arm. Say hello to the left hip on the outside and lengthen from the underside of your torso. One more breath out. And then open the legs out in front of you in a V and lift your arms up, interlace your fingers. Press up, press up, 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 up. And release down, change the legs. Right leg up and over your left leg this time. Okay, so first the right foot is flat on the floor, the right knee is lifted. Right hand behind you, left arm up, breathe in and hook the elbow outside the leg. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, twist. About five breaths, so five exhales to empty and rotate around a long spine. Stay in your twist. Two more. Inhale, come back to center. And heel toe your right foot towards your hip more. Such a way that you can stack your knees like cow face pose with your legs. Okay. Left elbow still is outside your right knee. But then lean forward, long, long spine, sitting bones reach back, and lift your right arm up. And continue to explore the twist. Really anchor the right hip down and breathe there in the outer hip. Uh, one more breath out. Inhale, come to center. Both legs out in a V. Arms up over the head. Sit tall, tall, tall. Press up. Flex your feet. Lengthen all your limbs. And then release the hands down. Zip the legs together. Okay, from here, bend your right leg. And... Bring your right foot cradled into your left arm. And you can wrap your right arm around. Now lean to the left and bring your right sitting bone closer to the inside of your left thigh. Okay, you can explore this. You could bend your left leg and come to seated thread the needle if that works better. And maybe close your eyes and stay there. You want to play further here. You could thread your right arm through the legs and bring your right 
tricep to the back of the right leg. Okay, from here, hug your right leg into your right arm. Okay, hug in, lean forward, press up. Maybe you stay, or you can cross your ankles and play with figure eight. You could dive down. And then when you're done with that, sit. Legs out, arms up, deep breath in. And out, hands down. Option to explore the other side, bend the left leg, and then cradle the foot into the fold of your right arm. Left arm through. Oh, you can stay here, right? Lots of options here just to stay, breathe into the outer hip. Again, modified, um, thread the needle here, seated. Totally fine to just stay there and breathe, okay? <laughs> And other option here to play, left arm goes through. Okay, and you gotta really slide your arm through so the left tricep can come to your left hamstring and then hug down, squeeze into the arm, lean forward, pick up your bottom foot, cross your ankles and figure eight, fold to the side with the legs. We play, we balance. And then come back down, legs out. Awesome, arms up. Release the hands down behind you. And they're on the mat, fingertips towards your bum. You could do this with your legs bent, reverse plank, bend your elbows back, and then lift the hips and lift your chest. Inhale up. Exhale, lower your hips down. Okay, bend the legs beside you and tuck your toes under, tuck your toes and sit back to your heels. And bring your hands on your thighs, long spine. Close your eyes. Untuck your toes. So you're in child's pose with your knees together. Lift your arms up over your head. And press the palms together. Roll the triceps in towards your face. So pinky blade of the hands shoots up. Low ribs down. Breathe in. Slowly start to lower down. Keep the spine long, 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 sitting, out, sitting bones away. And at the last second, your head will touch down and circle the arms back. So the hands, each side of your feet, relax your arms. Close your eyes. Feel free to use a block under the head if you need it. Reconnect to a moment of silence. Your spine is slightly rounded. Let there be movement in the back of the hips, in the low back in the space between your shoulder blades. Relax your face. Laissez vraiment tomber le poids de la tête. Allow your heart rate to slow down, your breath to slow down. And bring your hands under your shoulders, 
and use your hands just enough that you can press down and roll up one vertebra at a time. Keep your eyes closed, your head stacks up, your spine keeps growing. If it's okay on your shins, you stay. If you prefer to sit cross-legged, go for it. Sukhasana. Find a comfortable seated position, whatever you choose to go. Maybe it's heels one in front of another. And then hands on the legs. Let what we've done in the practice vibrate through your whole entire body. Climb up the spine as you inhale. Relax the outer shell as you exhale. And let your belly move with your breath. Tongue, eyes relaxed. Notice the space under your arms, that negative space. Feel the air flow in that negative space. Space between your fingers. Space at the back of the ears. And with your breath calm, inhale five, four, three, two, one, exhale, five, four, three, two, one, again, five, four, three, two, one, exhale, five, four, three, two, one, slow, full, empty, slow, and complete. Again. Empty. Last time. Empty. You can keep your eyes closed. If you're sitting on the support, take it away and lie down on your back. You lie down carefully. You might roll to the side and then roll onto your back. And bring both knees into your chest. Hug your arms around your legs. Put the knees into your chest. Lift the head and shoulders up. And once you're here, try and engage everything you can in your body. So squeeze your toes, squeeze your fingers, squeeze your bum. No one's watching. You can squeeze your teeth, your eyes, your eyebrows, your hair, your nails, everything you can. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Breathe in. And exhale. Let everything go. Lengthen your legs, your arms out. Set up for Shavasana. Pay attention to where your head is at in Shavasana. If you feel like your chin is lifted and your head is um, tilting back, 
the support under the head might feel good. It helps to bring the chin down, calm the body down. So forehead highest, then chin, then heart. And then relax the arms. Floor like a sponge. And when your body drops into the sponge, the water <laughs> hugs your body. You melt into the sponge, but the sponge hugs you back. It's secure and safe. Space to breathe, to travel through the thoughts, to feel any emotion that is present right now. Relax. 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 Deep, deep breath in. Exhale. Wiggle your toes, your fingers. Gentle breath. Roll to the right and stay there for a couple breaths. Yes, we have to. to a seated position and then tabletop and tuck your toes under lift your hips and keep your eyes closed just grab opposite elbows with your hands drop your head Release your arms, heel toe your feet together, big toes touch. You can bend the knees if you need, come up halfway, long back. Breathe in, come up all the way. 
and bring your hands to your heart. And we're not starting class all over again. <laughs> I just want to offer that you finish class just for today, standing on your feet, because chances are the next few things you'll be doing um, is probably walking out the room or just you'll be on your feet, chances are. So end class in the vertical body with some of the same qualities you found in Shavasana. So calm breath, spacious mind, open heart, and then drop the arms down, just relax by your side, and gently open your eyes. Breathe in and out. And look around you, at the space around you, colors of the walls, maybe light outside. Move around. And that's it. Have a beautiful day, guys. Hope some of that movement and some of the breath can carry you on through your day and carry you on through these very interesting, sometimes challenging, sometimes very inspiring in the creativity and the space and the change that is created. Thank you so much for joining the practice today. Namaste.